Welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I am Stevie B, and this is Stevie B's big video of retractions. So guys, first of all, let me say we've got plenty of haterade, spits, and smacks for all the haters out there. I might even hawk a couple of hater loogies during the video today, so it shall definitely be interesting. But I wanted to make a special retraction video, uh, especially after the past two weeks. So you guys know from my last video I posted, migration is supposed to be a great time of year. The adolescents, uh, long tooth, are supposed to drop summer mayhem boxes. That's one of the reasons the summer boxes usually have a little bit lower price, is there's usually a much greater supply because they drop after mayhem. Also, Iman, the big uber mob of migration, is supposed to drop one unlimited modified shadow part per year. Uh, last year it was the helmet, it went for something insane like TT plus 20,000 on auction. Well guys, I killed not one, not two, but 3,000 long tooth youngs, not even the adolescents, the youngs. I finished up my last iron mission. I got this right here as a mission reward in addition to 35 peta combat reflexes. Uh, this weapon is only available as a reward for completing stage 4 of the long tooth iron. Obviously it's got some good markup to it, so I wanted to get it. But guys, it was shrap fest. Uh, in 3,000 kills I, I got literally a couple of decent blades. I got two blades, I got a Wildman's Fury or two. I, I think I actually TT'd a few of those because those suck. I got a decent pistol, but it was mainly shrap fest. Um, it was it was pretty brutally bad. So I'm hearing reports that Mindark screwed up and there was some kind of server reset that didn't happen, that was supposed to happen. And because of that, the long tooth adolescents are not dropping the summer strong boxes. And because of that, we have not seen a unlimited modified shadow part drop, which explains quite a bit. Migration has really sucked this year pretty bad. Also, there has been a very, very large lack of ESI's empty skill implants dropping. Uh, average markup's about 950% on those. During uh, Summer Mayhem, it actually jumped up to almost 1500%, which is why you didn't see a lot of people chipping out if they didn't have to. I've been waiting on the price to come down so I can do some more chipping out. It has come down some, not enough for me to be comfortable with, so I'm still not buying ESI's yet. They're just not dropping like they should. So, unfortunately, Mindark is making money off migration. It looks like CLD and CLDX holders are making money off migration. Uh, but as for the people that are hunting, not so much. Uh, the Fappers are having a great time. As usual, this is their best time of year. But other than that, the rest of us are kind of out of luck. So, that is why after finishing my 3000 Longtooth, I have moved on. I have decided to try and focus on other stuff I want to do. Um, right now I'm doing an old waypoint mission that's part of the old iron system because I don't know if this is going to go away when the rest of the iron goes away or not. They might decide to keep these old waypoint missions. They might not. Depends how many NPCs they want to get rid of. But I'm just going ahead and finishing them out. Um, something else is I'm not sure which video I'm going to post first, but I have shut down the Stevie funds. I have another video I made earlier today naming all the investors in the Steving Fund that I still need to see because I am buying back all the shares at the purchase price plus paying out all of the accumulated cash flows. So far I've got most everybody paid off. Uh, there's still, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 people that I still need to speak with. So I've got about half of the people paid out. So we got plenty of pet on hand to get everybody paid. But if you have received an email from me, if you have received in-game mail from me to that end, uh, please get a hold of me so I can get you paid ASAP. Guys, it's one of those things that it was twofold. You know, I came out with the, the Stevie Fund because I wanted to offer a good in-game investment when Mindart kept throwing crap out there like Ancient Greece shares, which still aren't even close to selling out. Uh, remember that CP shares sold out in less than 48 hours. CP shares are now at 19.91 pet each. But if we look at Crystal Palace shares, or I'm sorry, Ancient Greece shares, they still haven't even sold 90,000. They're still shy of the 90,000 mark. And there were 750,000 to begin with, so they will never sell out. Never, ever, ever. So that's why I did the Stevie Fund to begin with. But the more the trolls came out of the woodwork, the more like people like McCormick started to troll me the more I realized it was asininely stupid for me to make it into an investment fund to begin with. A uh, couple of reasons. Number one, if you're good enough at the game, 
to be able to make a 7.5% return on investment or better on your own, cool, do it. More props to you. The average player in Entropia is not. Number two, I realized how much passive income I was giving up, and it was absolutely insanity. And I said this in a couple of my videos, and people started mocking me for it, but really, the more I got to thinking about it, the more it was one of the stupidest moves I ever made. And number three, it just became a business for me. Um, it, it got to where, like you guys can see, I've still got 200 messages I need to answer, and I was constantly getting PM'd. I've been, with the way real life schedule has gone for me, I have maybe an hour a night to log in at this point, and I was literally spending it not enjoying the game. And at the end of the day, it's a game. It's never going to make the kind of money my real life business opportunities will make me. Um, I literally, as you see from my other video, walked away from a closing last week with a $175,000 check. I, it, the bank offered me 0.15% interest. I'm sorry, this is not going to make me real life business type money. It's just not. Even if not for real estate, I've got other opportunities out there that are so, so much vastly better than EU. It's ridiculous. EU is a game. It is a hobby. It's fun. It's how I relax. And it makes me a couple of bucks. And you know what? I'm good with that. But if it ever stops being that, if it ever turns into anything more than that, it's got to be able to properly compensate me for that. And it's not possible. So that's why I shut down the Stevie Fund, but bought back all the shares. You know what? I own the entire pie for 18 months. I always said I was comfortable owning it forever, and I am. So that's what's going to happen. Part of the reason for that, I was looking at other investment opportunities. I was thinking about getting a high-end FAP for migration. You know, 40,000 ped. And the thing is, these fappers, they make like $3 an hour. And that's good wages in a place like India. But for where I live and the opportunities available to me, it's just not good wages. Um, so that's why there was never a B fund, because that's the kind of stuff I was looking at to be the B fund. And it just didn't make sense for me financially. So that said, word had gotten to me that she thought that I was bashing his fund in several videos I made. Let me clear that up. This is a retraction video, so I want to clear that up too. I have the utmost respect for Chi because how he is able to put in the kind of time and effort needed to run an in-game investment fund is absolutely beyond me. Um, there's just not the kind of money in it that I would need. And the headache is so monstrous, I don't even want to begin to explain how big the headache is. So the fact that Chi has it in him to even run an in-game fund and do it on the size and scale that he does dude more power to you because to me it was just the biggest headache in the world and i only had like 20 people that i was working with so i can't even imagine doing something on the scale that you're doing it would literally consume my entire life day in and day out and i just don't have that in me that would make the game no fun for me and if the game's no fun then i gotta quit um number two let me be sure i'm clear on something i said my fund was never open-ended there was a set number of shares it was a set ROI and that was it. And I made a video explaining by definition what a Ponzi scheme is. Chi went with a model for his fund that is open-ended. Unlimited number of shares, unlimited number of investors. So it would be possible for Chi's fund to be a Ponzi scheme. However, I did not say that Chi's fund is indeed a Ponzi scheme. What I did say is it does not make any sense to me how the sweat thing works because he takes in both ped and sweat and he pays returns both in ped and sweat and with the amount of sweat that he would need to gather it is a much larger amount than you could possibly gather by yourself which means the only way to really get it is to buy the sweat with ped which would give it, it creates a mathematical conundrum it gives the people who invested sweat a slightly higher return than those who invested in ped since part of the return that would be due to the people who invested in ped has to be used to buy the sweat to pay the sweat investors first it's just a mathematical conundrum it's not like a ton of money is going missing or anything <clears throat> it's just mathematically a small conundrum because you're actually at a slight advantage mathematically by investing in sweat over ped that was the point i was trying to make i'm not going to break down the math for you but obviously if you've got two people one invest ped one invest sweat you're paying a like kind you've got to take some of the ped from the investment income to buy the sweat to pay to the sweat investor before the rest of the ped from the investment income goes to the pet investor this gives the sweat investor a slightly higher income that's all i was saying um the fact that he's got the oldest biggest fund in game uh dude more power to you the fact that you have the 
ability to run it and not drive yourself absolutely up the wall and keep playing EU and keep loving the game, dude, I ain't got it in me. So the fact that you got it in you is absolutely amazing. Now that said, there's nothing in game that you're going to do that I haven't already considered. Um, there's no investment she's going to make that I haven't thought of. There's there's no deal he's going to do I haven't considered. Nothing he's going to do in game. It, it guys, it, it EU is limited. It is finite. There's only a certain amount of properties. There's only a certain amount of, of players. There's only a certain amount of resources. There's only a certain amount of mechanics. It's not like you've got a house in Idaho in some county I've never been to and you're considering buying it and I've never seen it. Totally different. There's only a, a small amount of land areas. So I, I promise there's no like big secret to investing in Entropia. It just comes down to how do you analyze deals. And the reason I'm so picky on my deals and some players don't have to be is because the opportunities that are out there for me are so, so vastly greater than what EU can do that sometimes EU just doesn't make sense to consume my time. Like with the fund, it made no sense for me to dedicate that kind of time to EU. I don't mind logging in, having some fun, competing in mayhem, playing with my friends. What I do mind is being tied to a video game 18 hours a day whenever there's a thousand other things that make me a ton more money. That's what I definitely mind. Um, so that said, guys, if you're looking for a place to park your money, check out Cheese Fund. See if it's for you, if it's for you, if you're comfortable with it, cool. I'm not endorsing it. I'm also not ragging on it. Um, Cheese is a great player. He's been around for a long time. He's one of the real OGs, and he's done a lot of stuff for EU that I could never do. So total shout out to Chi. Um, other things I want to do in this here retraction video. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see what else I got. Oh yeah, I, uh, I used to bash on Kinozuki and Penflow. Totally not retracting that. Remember where I said that uh, the hideout.tv points, we were paying a 50% more at earnped.com for them? That is true. Um, as of right now, it is no longer a promotion. That's just the new normal. I did that promotion whenever we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I meant for it to be temporary. For now, it's going to be the new normal. I can't promise you it's going to be permanent, but it's going to be the new normal. So it's 50% more than we were paying. It's also 50% more than Pedflow.com or Entropia Partners is paying for hideout points. And I'm just going to leave it that way. Because, again, it's here to help you guys. Yes, it helps support us. It helps make us a couple of bucks to continue to pump out YouTube videos and make the game worth playing. But, at the end of the day, it's going to do far more for the people who use EarnPed than it's going to do for me owning EarnPed. So, I've been getting a lot of feedback that people like it, that it's really helping make hideout.tv worth using. So we're just going to leave it there. Um, that being said, a couple of other things I want to retract. I, I no longer think that defense is the best thing to go for. No, I'm joking. I'm still a huge fan of defense. Uh, you guys saw me get taken down by a level 52 mob all ago. I'm probably getting ready to get down, taken down by this one right here. But I might actually be able to withstand it for one hit. Let's see what happens. I could not do this if I didn't have the kind of defense that I do. My evader is level 35. Guys, I saw... It's, yeah, uh, okay, so... He missed once, hit me once, missed again. Missed again. That's what defense does. It doesn't stop them from doing damage to you. They still do the full amount of damage when they do hit you. They just don't hit you as often. So guys, there was a player who recently hit uh, level 70 BLP. And he had, I believe, level 39 evade from the screenshot that I saw. My highest profession is level 46 laser sniper and I've got level 35 of age. So defense pays off. Spending a month or two at Zykeon early on pays off tremendously later on. So guys, if, if you're new to the game, if there's only one thing you ever listen to me say, focus on defense. Go to Zykeon in your free time, do some defense skilling. If you're there, stay away from the Ubers. When you're going through Codex, get Courage, get Combat Reflexes, get Athletics, get Evade, get the things that are going to contribute to your Evader profession. Get it early and focus on it because the, the it's so worth it later on. There are mobs that I could not take on if I didn't have these kind of defense numbers. There are things I couldn't compete in if I didn't have these kind of defense numbers. If I hadn't spent six months at Zykeon when I first started, this would be a whole different game for me. My fapping cost would be through the roof. I literally still use my Bevo S10. You've seen me use it a couple times in the video. Do I use it often? No. There it is. That's it right there. But it's still my go-to fap. 
because my defense is so outrageous, I very, very rarely have to fap. Very rarely. If I'm going out to do a regular hunt, the odds of me fapping during that hunt are next to zero because my defense is so ridiculous compared to the things that I hunt on a daily basis. So guys, I'm sure there's more things that I have probably said in the past that were slightly inaccurate or, or slightly taken out of context that need to be retracted. But the one big takeaway that I want you guys to get from all this is that migration 2020 is just not what we expected it to be. Um, number two, the Stevie Fund is closed dead. Everybody who invested in it will get their entire purchase price for their shares back, plus the cash flows they're entitled to. You know what? Go figure out how to make 7.5% ROI yourself. Go figure out how to play the game yourself. I'm not going to hand it to you on a silver platter. I'll make the YouTube videos. I'll help new players. I'll give you tips and tricks. But at the end of the day, if you want to work at it, if you want to make this game work for you, you have to do it yourself. I'm not going to go hunt for you. I'm not going to go mine for you. I'm not going to go craft for you. I'm not going to go make investment deals for you. You figure it out. I'm giving you all the tools you need. I'm not going to build the car for you guys. That said, we've got a lot of exciting videos coming up. I've got a really good one about skills that I plan to do uh, on my next day off. I've only had three days off this month, and I've had other side gigs going. Uh, in the meantime, my marketing is about to go through the roof in the real estate front, so I plan to be doing many more uh, housing deals in the next six months than I have been. That's going to take up a lot of my time. I've got to spend some time focusing on uh, some design projects I've got going that kind of complement some of the other stuff I'm going to be doing in real life. So you guys will see me in game often. Uh, I'll be spending a lot of time on Cronin. I'll be spending a lot of time mining. I've got some mining videos coming up for you guys. I might even actually get to start hunting for fun and really cycling pet hunting instead of just having to compete in mayhem and twiddle my fingers in between. I've got something off planet I've been wanting to do for a while. I might go take a shot at. And we've got a lot of great content coming up for you guys. I will try and put out videos as often as possible. I'm going to try and stay away from the just rambling and actually give you guys good tips in game. Like, hey, don't go shoot a billion adolescents looking for a strong box because it's not happening. Um, I'm going to try and give you guys a lot of videos about how to play smarter, how to play better tips and tricks to the trade. Uh, there's a lot of videos I could put out that I've avoided putting out because I didn't want to give out some minute details. I'm going to start doing more of those. So if you think that the videos have been helpful to you up to this point, you are going to be absolutely amazed at the stuff that's to come. So guys, keep in mind the best way to support us is through EarnPed.com. When you earn, we earn. EarnPed.com is currently paying out 50% more for those hideout points. That is going to be our new normal. It's 50% more than either of our competitors, and we're very, very happy about that. Hop over there. Be sure and earn some PED that way. Remember, there is a 60-day withdrawal period, um, just like there is with our competitors, because the sponsors do have that long to do chargebacks to us. But let me know ahead of time. That way, we can be sure and get you paid on day number 60. Also, guys, keep in mind that the haters are going to hate no matter what I do. The trolls are going to troll no matter what I do. Unfortunately, the reality is more the South Park WoW version than it is a whole bunch of really intelligent people playing a video game, unfortunately. So that's just nature of the beast. Um, it comes with the territory. So if you guys want me to keep pumping these videos out, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And leave a comment of some sort because I guarantee you all the haters out there are waiting for me to post a video so they can hit dislike, so they can try and bash a comment. So if you're a true blooded Stevie, please do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, even if you hate the video. Also, guys, feel free to shoot me PMs in game. Um, now that the fund's closed, hopefully I won't have 300 messages a day to reply to, and I'll be able to actually give out some good knowledge to people, maybe even take on some disciples, uh, which I haven't been able to do for the past month and a half because of all this crap. So, guys, that being said, I've been Stevie B with EarnPed.com. We're going to leave it there for today. We hope that you are enjoying your summer. We hope that you're staying safe, and we hope to see you more back here with more videos and great content really soon. Take care, guys.